So may I start the class? Okay, ma'am. So nine and minus two, seven students. Okay, you can start, ma'am. No problem. Okay. So in the last class we have uh, we were discussing about the inorganic herbicides, okay. And now uh, today we will be discussing about the uh, last two groups of the arsenicals and the acids. Okay. Usually in the arsenicals the acids are uh, there, and there are three types of acids of the arsenic. Like uh, the first one is the arsenic acid, R. Arsenic acid. Then uh, we ha uh, are having arsenic acid, and the last one is the arsenic. Over here it's arsenic, and over uh, and uh, over here it's a arsenic acid. Okay, and uh, the formula is not so important. Uh, just you have to remember that there are three types of arsenic. Acids and and uh, the three types of inorganic oxides. Okay, inorganic oxides. Okay, and in this we have to learn this sodium arsenide is the important one, and uh, then we are having arsenous trioxide. Okay, and the last one is the calcium arsenate. Okay, and this uh, uh, among all these, we just have to uh, learn this sodium arsenide. And uh, usually, inorganic arsenicals are having some uh, demerit or uh, you can say the harmful effects because it it poses high mammalian toxicity. and that's why we are not using so much and they also uh, cost to, uh, of application or the rate of application is also very high and this are highly non selective in nature so uh, these are the properties of the the inorganic arsenicals Else and in uh, sodium arsenide, you just have to remember that it's a long residual herbi site. Okay, and uh, this calcium uh, arsenate is also used as a only as a soil sterilant. Okay, now the last one is the borate, and in borate we just have to uh, remember. two types of borates the first one is the the sodium tetraborate
and the second one is the sodium meta borate and this sodium metaborate is also uh, means this metaborate is also having second and type the ammonium meta borate okay so over here this sodium tetra borate formula is uh, important because uh, once it asks in the question in the bhu ki the formula of the sodium tetra borate is so the sodium twice and b4o7 dot 7 at 10 h2o molecules and in meta borate it's only any 2 b2o4 okay and uh, over here instead of ammonium uh, sodium we are having ammonium so just the same thing b2o4 and this sodium tetra borate are usually non corrosive in nature non corrosive non volatile and non selective in nature and this also the sodium tetra borate or the meta borate is also used as a micro co fertilizer can any can anyone tell me why it is used as a micro nutrient fertilizer because over here boron is present in it okay so and we all know that the boron is the micro nutrient and uh, grasses are more tolerant than the broadleaf leaves over here okay now uh, second now the second type Uh, in the based on the chemistry we are having aliphatic uh, this organic uh, herbicides and in organic is uh, herbicides we are having so many e uh, groups but the important groups are usually uh, means at the bsc level uh, we have to learn only e usually 18 to 20 and over here it's 18 groups which we have to learn okay the, the first one is the aliphatic acid and in this uh, uh, we have to learn ki how we can categorize the different herbicide belongs to which group so over here i am telling you uh, some tricks to remember just focus on that ki in aliphatic groups the examples are tca and the delapon in this you have to learn as it is but in any leads then arsenicals are there in arsenicals also so uh, you have to learn like ms me example then benzoic acids are there and in this usually kamba at the last is written okay in benzoic acid so uh, the examples of the this benzoic acid will be dicamba or tricamba and also amben this amben is written at the last kamba or amben will be there at last in the benzoic acid okay and uh, in bipyridium group uh, we are usually having this paraquet and diquet and over here this paraquet and diquet is as you know it's important one because it is it is non selective non residual and contact herbicides okay because these are the uh, in non selective herbicide in non residual herbicide and in the contact herbicide we usually he give the same example this uh, for that uh, you have to remember that the paraquet and diquet usually belongs to the bipyridium group okay and then we are having chlorophenoxy compounds actually in this 24d 
और यू कैन से एम एस एम सी पी ए दीज टाइप ऑफ हॉबिसाइड आर यूजली ही फाउंड बिकॉज दिस टू फोर डी इफ यू मीन्स गिव द साइंटिफिक नेम ऑफ दिस टू फोर डी तो इट विल बी आई यू पैक नेम ऑफ द टू फोर डी दैट टू फोर डाई फ्लोरो फिनॉक्सी एसिटिक एसिड एंड इन दिस एम सी पी ए इट इज टू मेथिल फोर क्लोरो फिनॉक्सी एसिटिक एसिड सो सिंस यू नो दिस क्लोरो फिनॉक्सी इज ऑल्सो देर एयर इन दिस कंपाउंड नेम सो इन दिस वी आर हैविंग दिस then we are having carbamates and in carbamates in uh, maybe at the last am or an uh, suffix uh, will be there uh, like you can uh, say profam barbon or uh, also picloram and leptofen picloram and it's only the trick okay because uh, usually these types of questions are asked ki the uh, picloram belongs to which group so at that time by seeing this am m at the end when you can name it okay this am is there then it will be belonging to the carbamates and uh, this is not written in any book that uh, only this uh, will be there because uh, this one i have created uh, to remember myself and i'm sharing the that trick with you all okay then in diphenyl ether and as you know over here it's a fen okay and this fen is also written as the f e n okay so whenever any uh, like example of the nitrofen is there oxyfluorofen is there okay so all these uh, uh, herbicides will be belonging to to this diphenyl ether group okay in the same way in a dinitro anilines since all the uh, herbicide which ends with the lin okay all the herbicide which ends with the lin word that belongs to the dinitro anilines examples are there which are usually asked in the exam fluchloralin sorry trifluralin fluchloralin pendimethyl since you can see that all the lin are over here okay but one exception is there propanil and that propanil belongs to this anilines group propa nil sorry uh, it will be from the nitrile groups uh, in the nitrile we are having at last nil but the exception are there in the anilines because uh, all the a uh, word uh, herbicide uh, ending with the nil will be there in the nitriles but exception for the propanil it belongs to the anilines group now uh, in amidazoline zolines in this uh, the first one amida so m is a thypho m is a thypho this herbicide is usually belongs to the amidazoline okay because or this question are usually asked ki amiza type belongs to which group or the question may also ask like the amiza type is used as the post emergence herbicide in pulses okay and recently uh, this uh, amiza type is very much used in the uh, pulses as a post emergence okay now this organo phosphorus as over here it's phos so uh, in any word the phos will be there like the glyphosate or glyphosinate or also you can uh, say uh, glyphosate glyphosinate and you know phos 
तो दीज ऑल विल बी बिलोंगिंग टू दी ऑर्गेनोफॉस्फोरस ग्रुप ओके देन वी आर हैविंग फिनॉक्सी फिनॉक्सी एल्कोलॉइड एसिड एंड इन दिस वी यूजुअली टेक दैट होबिसाइड्स व्हिच एंड्स विद लाइक दिस द पी मेथिल और ई मेथिल like these uh, herbicide which ends with this uh, usually come under this phenoxyphenoxy alkaloid acid it, uh, like i have given in the broad window herbicides one example was there सल्फोसल्फ्यूरोन beta sulfuron these types of sulfuron uh, like uh, suffix are usually come under this herbicide group then we are having thiocarbamates and in thiocarbamates maybe the thiocarb this suffix or at last eight will be there okay like uh, molyate और बेंथियो का तो दीज टाइप ऑफ हॉबिसाइड विल बी देयर इन दी थायो कार्बामेट देन वी आर हैविंग ट्राई अजाइंस एंड इन ट्राई अजाइंस एट लास्ट एंड अजाइन विल बी देयर एग्जांपल्स आर एट्राजिन मेटाजिन सॉरी सिमाजिन मेट्राब्यूजिन लाइक So over here you see that the zin is the uh, suffix which are usually there at the end. Okay. Then we are having uracil group, and in this at last the sil will be there, like the bromosil. Okay. So these are the total uh, groups usually found in the. category of the organic herbicides now uh, i will be telling you some trade name but uh, uh, i will be giving the trade names according to their groups means like in allylo uh, it is aliphatic acid groups i told you uh, the two herbicide name were there the tc or the delapon on the tc is not usually asked in any of the exam but the uh, delapon is usually asked okay तो the trade name of Delapon is Doipon, the trade name. Then we are having in any leads group we are having Propanil, and this Propanil is used. Uh, the trade name of Propanil is the Storm, Stam, F thirty four. Then we are having Acetamides, and in Acetamides, over here. Uh, this uh, chlor uh, will be there because it's also known as the chlor acetamides that's why the chlor uh, suffix is usually there in the acetamides the example of this is ala chlor buta chlor aceta chlor and meta chlor and the trade name of ala chlor is lasso buta chlor machet aceta chlor hames and meta chlor duel okay and this buta chlor you have to remember uh, because this buta chlor is usually used in the rice as a pre emergent okay then in benzoic acids we are having we are having Chlor ampun and the uh, trade name of chlor ampun is ami pen. Okay, then in bipyridium I told you paraquet and diquet. 
the paraquat trade name is gramex zone and diquat trade name is the reglon then in chlorophenoxy compounds we are having 2,4-D and its different categories like 2,4-D or 2,4-D ester, 2,4-D sodium salt, 2,4-D amine. Also in this we are having 2,4-5-T MCPA and MCPB. Okay, so MCPB is Trade name is Cantrol. MCPA is Chip Tox. 245T uh, is known. Uh, the trade name is the Brush Killer. 24D is also one is the Plant Guard or it also known as the Weeder. 24D Easter is known as Weed On. Then sodium salt is known as redox and the sodium uh, 2,4-D amine is known as beta 32 and in this, this 2,4-D should be remembered by everyone. Then in uh, carbamates we are, we are having pyclorum and leptofen. This leptofen is known as cobra. Pictlorum is known as tordon. Uh, sorry, not known as. Uh, the trade name of pictlorum is tordon and the trade name of uh, leptofen is cobra. Then in diphenyl ether, we were having nitrofen oxy pleuro fen and pleuro d fen pleuro pleuro d fen okay and nitrofen is known as a uh, trade name of nitrofen is to e24 Oxyfluorophen is known as coal. Xg. Then fluorodefen is known as SOX trade name. Sorry, I'm repeating myself. Then in nitrofen, uh, nitroanilines, we are having triphluralin. Fluchloralin, Fendi, Methylene, and the trade name of trifluorin is Treflon. Fluchloralin is Vasanil. Fendi Methylene is Storm. Then in Amidazinol, we are having that hyper and this uh, the trade name of it is percent then in organophosphorus we are having glyphosate glyphosate then we are having anilophosphate this anilophos is no a uh, trade name is anilogard. Glyphosinate trade name is pasta. And glyphosate trade name is round up. Then phenoxy, phenoxy, alphenoic acid. It we are having. I have shown you the examples of quizello, quizol. Low fob PSL and the trade name of this is Turga Super. 
then in phenols we are having dinosep and as i have told you this is the first herbicide hide which was used in 1933 e and the trade name of this is do then uh, pyridazinones in this we are having oxadiazone and oxadiazone trade name is ronsta then in sulfonyl a uh, sulfonyl urea we are having sulfo sulfonylurea Sulfuron. This sulfo sulfuron trade name is Nido, which is used in the uh, wheat crop. Meta sulfuron is known as trade name is known as export, and ben sulfuron is trade name is lawn. then in uh, thiocarbon saturated then in urea because sulfonyl urea i have told you that's why i am telling the urea now in urea at last you will be uh, the suffix will be uron okay and uh, the examples of urea group is iso proturon mono uron di uron meta uron trade name of isoprituron is isobar or it also known as the array lon okay then in mono uron the, uh, the trade name is the uh, dulso dul and di uron is the uh, trade name is carmex and beta zeron trade name is dusa next okay then uh, in thio companies uh, the first example is bolde and also uh, we are having benzo pop and PC trade name is Aptum. Benthio carb. It should be B. Benthio carb. Uh, trade name is Saturn or Bolero. Then Bolgate. The trade name is Ordrum. Seventy-two. Then in uh, triazines we are having Atrazin. Simatin, Metribucin, and the last one, Zimbabucin. Atrazine is atratrop. Atratrop. Simatin is trade name is Tapazin. Metribuzin, it should be sensor, and propazin is low. Then in unclassified, we are having malic hydra side, and the trade name of is is retard. Or trout stop, and the second one is Brettula chlor, and this uh, trade name is herbicide of this trade name is Brett. So 
so these are the most important one uh, and with its trait and over here i have categorized in the group so that it will be easier for you all to learn it okay uh, so maybe today uh, in one day you have learned the aliphatic acid group then enzymes acetamides benzoic acid and the trait name of that uh, herbicide is also so done okay now we will be focusing on the control of this special problem weeds or uh, but uh, this we will be uh, discuss later before that we will be focus on the cereals crops ki how we are going to control all the rice so uh, i have told you uh, at the the time of the trade name ki in utah lor is used as a pre emergence herbicide in the rice and uh, the butyl lor trade name because of this because it is used in the rice and because of that the butyl lor name the trade name should be learned by everyone the matchup okay a and the post emergence is 24d and uh, it's used as a post emergence in rice and amylophos is also used but uh, and the trade name of amylophos is amylo card and the trade name of 24d is plant card these are the herbicides which are used in the rice then in a uh, wheat i told you that the sulfur sulfuron is uh, usually used in the wheat and uh, this sulfur sulfuron is the trade name is the leader and uh, 24d is also used in the wheat okay and this 24d usually applied 30 to 35 days after sowing because it's used as a post emergence and uh, this 24d one more important thing is there ki this 24d is not applied to the cotton chickpea and mustard okay a and uh, this uh, sulfur sulfuron on uh, actually uh, first we focus on the 24d ki uh, this should be applied as a post emergent 30 to 35 days after sowing thing and it should not be applied to the cotton chickpea mustard third and uh, this is usually uh, the dose of the 24d is usually 0.5 kg per hectare and if we applied this 24d uh, to the wheat stage then the 24d tolerant to the physiological growth stages of the crop this 24d is tolerant to physiological growth stage of okay and uh, if uh, along with the phalaris minor along with the phalaris minor so uh, we are having avena fatwa so at that time time we have to use iso proteron in the wheat field and this uh, uh, the dose of this 0.5 0.75 kg active ingredients per hectare okay and this isoprotron is also used as a post emergence herbicide and uh, sulfur sulfuron as uh, now a days are very much uh, used because it will be the alternative herbicide tied uh, to the isoprotron so the resistant population of the phalaris mine because in this the wheat shift are there uh, due to the isoprotron or the resistant variety of the phalaris mine are there so the phalaris 
minor resistance variety can be controlled through the uh, sulfosulfuron and this is usually very much important nowadays sulfosulfuron the trade name of sulfosulfuron is uh, here and the the isobutyron the trade name is the iso card okay then we are having maize and in maize uh, we usually in a maize or the sorghum we usually use atrazen or you can say simazin as well as we can also use the enalog okay and uh, one important question which usually asked uh, in some of the exams and that ki atrazin is more soluble than the simazin this one is the more soluble atrazin and this atrazin is six times more soluble than the simazin okay and the trade name of atrazin is atra ta simazin tapazin this is most important one enalchloride less i am repeating again so that and by uh, means in uh, extension also you have have uh, learned that uh, by means if we are using again and again we uh, seeing anything or hearing anything or writing anything then and that uh, tra- means the everything will be learned very frequently so start writing all the herbicide and then they are trade name likewise you, you also get to learn because uh, from the first time whenever you start uh, learning all these trade name na it will be so confusing so again and again i am writing i am telling you so that it will be easier for you to learn it then in uh, pulses you can see p for pulse and p for pendimethylene so this pendimethylene uh, can be used as a pre emergence and imisathyper is used as a post emergence in pulses okay then in groundnut again in atrazin or enalclor then in soybean blue chloralin as a pre plant incorporation is very much used okay then in this uh, commercial crop sugar cane in a uh, not only this much of the site can be applied to the group but these are very much popular in these crops that's why i am telling one or two two popular herbicides in the crop okay in sugar cane again atrazin and diuron is very much used and uh, in cotton diuron is famous and the trade name of diuron is carmex Okay. Now, uh, one very much important question asked from the uh, uh, the question is that how many the uh, dangerous weeds are there in the or the special uh, types of most serious weed present in the world? Okay, not in India. I have uh, the question is in the word so there are 18 most serious weeds are there in the word okay uh, this question is very much popular her uh, and uh, one by one i am giving you all the 18 names the first one is the smooth pigweed the second one spiny pigweed the third one is the wild oat fourth one is common lamb's quarter 
फिफ्थ वन फील्ड पाइन बीड सिक्स वन बोमिडा ग्रास the smooth pigweed uh, the name of the smooth pigweed is amaranthus hybridus then is spiny pigweed it's amaranthus spinosus then this phyllot is known as the scientific name is avena patua and uh, can you tell me in which where we have uh, learned this wild oat just do the connectivity otherwise na if you will not connect the weed with the, some special characteristics na so uh, they will not be learned with you all this avena patua is usually found in the ravi season and in oats barley wheat and also in wheat crop in wheat crop uh, the, they can be harbor uh, the violets can harbor the some diseases okay and uh, this wild oat usually cause the black Wild oat is usually uh, harbors the powdery mildew. Okay, and then we are having a uh, common slab, uh, common lamb squatter, and this is known as Gynopodium. And this Gynopodium, um, also, so in a sugar wheat can harbor a uh, the leaf curl virus okay then we are having peel bind feed and the scientific name is the corn ball bulus r bensis it is the broad leaf feed as well as uh, this uh, corn ball bulus i have told you who in the vegetative propagation of the weeds that this corn ball bulus is usually propagate to the root cuttings okay then we are having bermuda grass uh, grass which is also known as the devil's grass and the scientific name of the bermuda grass is the cynodon dactylon okay and the cynodon uh, dactylon the cynodon dactylon are usually propagated through runner okay then uh, we are having seven yellow nut sedge purple nut sedge ha huh, one more thing i am forgetting ki cynodon dactylon is usually occur in 80 countries okay this question is also asked ki the cynodon dactylon is spread into 18 countries means it's a problematic weed in the 80 country and then uh, we are having yellow nut sedge which or the purple nut sedge so this is known as the cypress rotunda uh, esculentus and the purple nut sedge is known as the cypress rotundus and the cypress species is usually spread into 92 countries and in among 52 crops this question is also asked in many exams then in uh, the ninth we are having the crab grass and this crab grass uh, scientific name is digitaria sanguinensis 
and this dysentery i have told you uh, in the examples of the summer annuals at that time i told you the five most important examples of the summer annuals and uh, because summer is also known as z then i have given you the tricks ad so a square d cube over here a is uh, stands for the amaranthus and second a is for the agaratum and this agaratum conijoids is also known as the goat weed and this uh, d cube over here we are having three examples digera digitaria and dactylo tissue okay so uh, with this digitaria example you should learn all these examples does have some connectivity then only you will be able to remember all the example okay then we are having 10th one we are having jungle rice it's jungly rice and the scientific name of jungly rice is echinochloa colonum okay and the second one is the 11th one is the barn yard grass and this barn yard grass is also known as echinochloa but over here the species get differ it's become crus kelly okay now this uh, 12th one is the water hyacinth and this water hyacinth is very important because it's a aquatic weed and the scientific name of this echornia crassipus and one more thing this water hyacinth is usually propagated through offset and in this offset we are also having the example of the pistia and this echornia crassipus us uh, became the problematic weeds in india uh, and this water hyacinth come to india from the brazil and this water hyacinth is usually he controlled uh, came from uh, sorry brazil in the year 1800 96 and this water hyacinth can be controlled biologically can be controlled biologically through hyacinth moth or hyacinth vivel and also it can be controlled through the fung uh, fungi and this also uh, can be controlled through the bio herbicide and this bio herbicide are prepared by the cercospora rodmini and this cercospora rodmini is used uh, means uh, this bio herbicide it which extracted from the cercospora rodmini he is usually known as abg 500b and the fungi which control uh, that water hyacinth is alternaria and the rhizoctonia and this uh, uh, hyacinth moth on uh, name uh, is semidoids semi oids and the weevil is neochetina neo chetina ichornia so so many things are there related to the water hyacinth over here and this one is the among the uh, most serious 18 most serious weeds then uh, after the water hyacinth we are having 
गूज गूज ग्रास एंड दिस गूज ग्रास इज द साइंटिफिक नेम इज एल्यू सीन इंडिका एंड दिस गूज ग्रास is usually found among the 46 crops okay this one is the 13th one then we are having cogon grass imperator cylindrica this imperator cylindrica at the time of the useful uh, things which we can do through the weed i have told you ki imperator cylindrica is used as the thatch material okay then we are having sour pastellum this is not so important but uh, since at last we are having pastellum the scientific name is also start from the pastellum then we are having having common purslane purslane and the scientific name is portulaca oleracea then we are having itch grass and this itch grass scientific name is rot boilia and this rod bolia we have learned at the time of the seed mimicry in rice okay and uh, since i am showing you uh, the examples one because uh, this usually asks in many exams agrostema githago in wheat this usually shows the seed mimicry in the wheat and uh, at the time of vegetative propagation and and in the rice we are having echinochloa crisgeli and in the sorghum we are having sorghum halepens and see uh, the rod bolia uh, bolia is usually show the seed mimicry in rice and the examples of the chronological mimicry we are having phaloris minor these are these are the very important one so remember all these things then at last we are having the 18th one is the johnson sorry s o n johnson grass and the scientific name is the sorghum halepens okay and this sorghum halepens is usually propagated to the rhizome okay and the sorghum uh, halepens is also produce one chemical durin which is known as the hydrocyanide right and this durin is uh, usually the due to the effect of allelopathy he and it produces poisonous effect on cattle which feed this uh, sorghum halepens and before its tillering phase okay so this durin is very much and the uh, hcn the hydrocyanide it is very important question related to the sorghum halepens okay now just this much for today thank you and have a nice day